All right, so special thanks to Northern Neck Chevrolet uh, for loaning us out this vehicle. Address and link to the website uh, in the comment section down below. Hit them up. They have a great, great selection of vehicles. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to EMT. My name's Emad, and today... We're going to be doing a walk around and review of this bad boy, a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. This is super, super cool. Awesome, awesome. When this first truck came out, when this truck first came out, I was in love with it. And I still am in love with it. These are beautiful, beautiful trucks. I think they are awesome so beefy looking oh man this is wild look at it gorgeous gorgeous truck i love the gray color jeep with the red surrounding it you have the backup camera here beautiful red tow hooks to let you know that this is uh the rubicon model LED backlights but still with that old jeep styling looks beautiful i love the way this truck is designed. Look at the wheel, the, the, the fender flares on this thing. Beautiful angular design on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous truck. Love the wheels. Got the little aftermarket rock rails on it. Oh, sidestep slash rock rails. Beautiful, beautiful. And since this is the Rubicon, it comes with the Fox shocks on it gorgeous truck let's talk about this front and i think is beautiful jeep did an amazing job designing the wranglers keeping it classic style wrangler but still modernizing it at the same time led turn signals there gorgeous gorgeous headlights with the projector i believe these are also led Super, super cool. You got your little fog lights down there again with the red tow hooks here. Check out the hood vents on this thing. This thing is awesome to say the least. This one also has the hard top. This is as good as it can get. Let's hop inside and check it out though. All right, so. In the back of the Rubicon here, very, uh, you know, bland. You just still have the soft touch here, but again, this is made to come off. Uh, aluminum style door handle here. You got a little mesh kit down here. Uh, you know, seats very, very similar to the front. So that's pretty cool. Let's hop in and see how much leg room we got. I'm a little cramped back here, yeah, but I'm not uncomfortable by any stretch of the imagination. You got these little cool things here where you can hang, hang like water bottles and stuff like that, you know, add to the ruggedness of the vehicle with a little net here to store some stuff. They do give you vents back here, which is awesome. Rear window controls are here. Again, very, very cool. You also get four usb ports down here two usb a's and two usb um sorry two usb c's and two usb a's and a 110 outlet as well as even more cup holders passenger seat also has that cool mesh where you can hang stuff as well looking up here you have your little lights you know which are cool. You have speakers on this side, which is also very, very cool. Let's see what else we got back here. Oh, that's pretty much it back here. Let's check out the trunk area. So 
So I said trunk, but I meant bed. This is a truck. So tailgate is damped, which is cool. You got a lot of space back here, which is super, super cool. Um, yeah, this is one of my dream trucks right here. Tailgate's very, very light to close. Let's check under the hood. All right, I actually almost opened the door to pop the hood, but you don't need to do that with the Jeep Rubicons. You have this little thing here that comes down. And this one here as well comes down. And in the center here, This is what you need to, you know, move over to pop the hood on. This is your hood rod. You got a prop rod that's actually mounted on top of the hood, which is weird, but cool nonetheless. 3.6 liter V6 engine. Uh, this is a tried and true engine. They've had it for a lot of different applications. So I see this as being a decently reliable vehicle here. Let's check what we got. You got your battery over here, pretty nice and simple. Fuse box right here. Power steering fluid. This does have, um, uh, you know, old school pump and power steering. Again, tried and true technology. Air filter right here. Oil uh, fill here. Interesting thing though. There's your oil filter. You don't really need to calm down up underneath this vehicle to change your oil on this side though that your uh, dipstick is on this side here moving on to this side windshield washer fluid here and uh brake fluid there coolant right there uh, pretty simple layout so not too much fuss here Thank you for watching y'all i really appreciate it if you have any comments questions or concerns hit them hit me up in the comment section down below i try to respond to as many of your uh, inquiries as i possibly can if you want me to go over anything else in the vehicle let me also know in the comment section down below remember this vehicle is for sale here at northern neck chevrolet ask for me emmett and i'll hook you up thank you